Hey everybody, thank you for joining us on the Twin Energy Podcast. Thank you very much. What, what? Uh, I just wanted to give you guys some tips on where to find us. Uh, the main thing, well obviously you found us if you're watching this, but... Uh, you found us, thank you. We were lost for a little while. <laughs> uh, search, uh, first one is YouTube. Go on YouTube and search Twin Energy, T-W-N-R-G-Y. And also do the same thing on Facebook, search Twin Energy. And then also we have a Patreon account. Or first off, we have an Instagram account. Do it for the gram, y'all. Gram it up. Grammy season's Grammys. coming up. Yeah, folks. Get those grams. We're winning. Likes, comments, whatever. Uh, but yeah, search for us on Instagram. Search Twinergy. And then also, Patreon. We have a Patreon account. That website is www.patreon. And it'll be a backslash twn. RGY. And on Patreon, you'll be able to see our videos and you'll have an opportunity to contribute if you'd like. Uh, whether it's monthly or a one time contribution, there is expenses that are uh, factored into this, whether it's posting and other things of that sort. But if not, feel free to continue to watch this for free and enjoy the material that we put out. And Adam has some other information in regards to how you can find us. All right. The other things you could do to find a place to say listen to us on is go on Apple iTunes, go on that search bar, type in Twinergy, T-W-N-R-G-Y, and then our podcast will pop up. Also, the same for Spotify, just yep. type in our Twinergy name, it'll come up, and then go on Stitcher, and it'll come up and you'll find us. And you get, you could download an app for Stitcher and Spotify yeah. on your phone, this way it makes it easy to get okay. there, yeah. on the go. Yeah, if you have Apple, it's already on the phone, I believe. Yeah, you already have the Apple iTunes app on there, so you have Apple, you have Android, whatever, whatever you matter, have, what download, your affiliation, just whatever check side it out. you find yourself on, download Stitcher or Spotify app, type in Twinergy, and you'll find us. And once you do find us on YouTube, if you could, could subscribe, that'd be amazing. It's just as good as con contributing financially sometimes. You can subscribe on iTunes as well. Subscribe on iTunes. Don't forget that. Leave comments, leave suggestions. We're open. Open We're for it. Open, ready for any suggestions and comments that you may have. Uh, just let us know. We'll continue to bring information about health and wellness. And just want to say thanks again for listening to us. I'm Aaron. And I'm Adam Fernandez. With the Twin Energy Podcast. Love you guys. Take care. Take care. Love you. Hey, everybody. My name is Aaron. And I'm Adam Fernandez. We're here with the Twin Energy Podcast. And today we're going to talk a little bit about, uh, I guess, affordable fitness. Just uh, ways that you can stay fit, have a good time, stay active. And that's a lot of stuff that we kind of preach, I'll say, for the most part, is doing a lot of a lot of these exercises that are body weight exercises you don't need a gym for, or you need little money, whether you have a jump rope and things of that sort. But uh, yeah, let Adam kick it off. Start up. Just some of the things that I do on a daily basis that is free and it's... Breathe? So, breathe, breathe. Think. But... Uh, free thinker. But things I kind of like to do are stretches. I'll do that. Yeah. Well, like a mixture, I'll do my stretches. Also do lunges. I'll do squats. I'll do push-ups, and I kind of incorporate that. Into lizard push-ups. Lizard push-ups. Get the blood yeah. pumping. And just incorporate it to about. It only takes about ten minutes. So you just kind of get that done. Do it early in the day, middle of the day, late of the day, whenever. One, one of those times or all those times, whatever. So just something simple, kind of get the blood flowing. It's free, it's cheap. Yeah. No, no membership required. Yeah. And then also, if you sometimes, probably about four days a week, do ab exercise for 10 minutes a day. So it would be like 40 minutes all together throughout so the week. Get that beach ball going. Beach ball. situation over here. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, just kind of do that. Just try to, Stay, stay in shape a little bit by that. And then it, lately, more recently, maybe in the past month, incorporating uh, Tai Chi. It just kind of... Tai Chi, man. Kind of, it, I'd say maybe it incorporates uh, squats, kind of balance. just kind of centers you a bit. And even, even, relax, even a bit relaxing, kind of like meditation. I'll just do 10 different... Or 10 sets of Tai Chi thing. 
Uh, the, the guy in the song who taught us about it. Yeah, this gentleman. I forget his name. Charles. Charles something. David. Older gentleman. Uh, and uh, he he just uh, yeah he just kind of was talking and he does he's been doing tai chi for probably like twenty years or something. Yeah, quite a while. And maybe he's sixty something years old, so he's been doing it for a while. But uh, yeah, he just kind of showed Aaron. We're all in the sauna, all sweaty. He, he didn't give a dang. He's all touching people. All right, and he's showing Adam. He showed myself. He showed this Some other lady that was in there. But it was cool. Yeah, it is. So just that kind of put that into my practice, and yeah, I feel it helps. It's just like even just for relaxing. And then yeah. I said you're doing squats, just kind of you're kind of centering yourself and balancing yourself out of it, strengthening that core. So it helps, and then also there's uh, yoga. You don't like goat yoga. Goat yoga. <laughs> it's kind of like, kind of like uh, walk little on little you. Goats. Okay, what's up, kid? Okay. Kid. And, but uh, but yeah, just you put on a video on YouTube. I'm sure there's thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of millions, possibly goat yoga videos. Goat yoga, specifically on goat yoga. Goga. Goga. But uh, but yeah, just kind of. Do some poses. There's so many different simple Just the poses. Just fundamental ones, yeah. Yeah, help with your core, help with your balance, your muscles, it, strengthening, strengthening your, muscles. your back. Because I know times after I go and do yoga, center of my back near my spine has got like I worked out a lot of muscles there, my legs, my arms and stuff. So Just whole body, man. So yeah. You, you, just go on YouTube, all it costs is whatever you're paying for your cable bill every month or your Wi-Fi bill. That electric bill. And keep, uh, going, keep that phone charged. Do it, yeah, just watch it on your phone, watch your computer, and just do it alongside the video. So, free, cheap, and easy. Yeah. And then, I'm going to pass it on to Aaron. he go ahead and talk about a few different things of his own. Please that rock. Yo, uh, some of the, or the main one I wanted to focus on is... For affordable fitness is the kettlebell. Kettlebell is such a versatile piece you, of equipment. You make tea with the kettlebell. I know, like just put it on the stove, wait for it to whistle, and boom. You think you work out with it afterwards? Just don't burn yourself. I know it'll be all hot. It's cast iron, I think. But uh, those kettlebells—they're uh, not just for cows. They're just not for the tea. They're for you, for me. Get the workout on. Uh, what you can do, you can do so many things. I'll, say, I'll just touch it on, not necessarily the exercises, but the muscle groups you can work on. Definitely working out your core, depending on what you're, what you're doing, whether you're doing the kettlebell swings, uh, you're working out your shoulders, you're working out your, you can do bicep curls with them, you can do triceps, you can do lunges, you can do squats. You can do, it's a Turkish get up, like I said, I didn't want to get into too much of the exercises, but it really strengthens your core, your back. It's like an all body, all body encompassing one workout, one exercise type of situation. But that Turkish get up, really kick your butt. But kettlebells, um, get your blood flowing, get your heart rate up. And it's just one, you get like maybe something that, and it's all relative, you get a weight that is good for you. And it, all you need is one kettlebell, and you can do. You can even do chest. You can do shoulder presses. You can do get on the ground and kind of do a bench press motion with it. But it's, don't get one that's too heavy though. Yeah, you, you just want to just kind of a decent, comfortable weight because you could easily tear your joints apart and mess with that thing and get too heavy. But it just it might be hard to do multiple exercises or sets or whatever the case. But get yeah. something like I said that works for you. Um, go to the store. You can whether you go to Big Five, you go to anything out, any sort, of, any type of sporting goods store. You can try it out and just you can get the low weight one, mid size weight. If you're a beast, you can get like the twenty fives, the fifties. That it's it's a tough uh, it's a tough piece of equipment. So you don't need to go too heavy when you're looking to buy a kettlebell. Uh, but yeah, test it out and see what works for you. Uh, some of the other ones that are I'll say uh, workouts. If you don't have a jump rope, just fake it. Like just kind of hold your hands like you're holding the jump rope. But jump rope never you, miss, never miss, you never skip, you won't never slap your shins. I or, know you won't trip, you won't get hurt. You don't hurt the. You can even make the sound if you want, like this, whatever the case may be. But jump rope, it's such an inexpensive piece of equipment, and you can do so. You, it's great for your cardio. It's great for your balance. Even something I was reading. A while back, it's even good for your brain and your memory. I don't know how that happens. I don't know because your brain's jostling around, you're getting some more blood flow in there, but it's good for your brain as well. It's a uh, neurological workout as well. But uh, also, if you have a bike, 
you can go out. If you don't have a bike, bikes are relatively inexpensive. You can get out there, enjoy the weather, depending on where you're living, but or just explore your area. You can get on that bike, get that heart rate up, get the air in there, do a little bit of grounding because you're in the fresh air, you're getting those negative ions or whatever, free radicals out of your system, but uh, also a run, a jog, a, a brisk walk, whatever the case may be. That's free, as long as you have shoes. Free you're, to make free, man. Hey, man. <laughs> Red, white, and blue, baby. Uh, but uh, yeah, you go out there and run around and you get that heart rate up. If you run, uh, like maybe on the grass if you want, like some sort of dirt, only for the fact that when you run on concrete, it is a little bit more um, worse, uh, detrimental to your knees and your joints and stuff like that. But maybe go to the park and do some sprints, get that heart rate up if you're able to. And it's free. All you gotta do is drive somewhere, walk somewhere, bike somewhere. You don't have to do too much to get that workout in. And then also, uh, yeah, I, I guess, or even if you go and you look around, you shop around, and you want to go to a, a gym because you like the communal aspect of it, there's some places out here you can get a $9 a month gym membership. Uh, I think like maybe like an Orange Therapy or Crunch or what are some of the other ones? Like, what, uh, like the really low rates. Planet Fitness. There we go. Bam! Oh. Smarty Pants. But uh, there's so many places. You left it out. Plucking it out. Reaching for those stars. But yeah, you can go and get like a, a rather than go into the LA Fitnesses, a 24 hour fitness, which, which can be a little bit more expensive. But just go find, like, even look for a small little mom and pops type situation. But fitness can be affordable. It doesn't matter if you have a lot of money, a little bit, no money. You can get out there and just work out on your own. Uh, let me see, there was something else I wanted to touch base on, but uh, but yeah, either way, it's just it's fun to get out there. And one other thing I wanted to say, if you do it to where you're just doing things at home, you're doing things at the park, it's a great way to incorporate your family, the kids, your parents. Fresh air. Fresh air, uh, family members, friends. It's that's a great communal aspect. If you don't, if you want to get the communal aspect and you don't want to go to the gym because you don't have the money, then get the kids together, get the family together, get the friends. What up, fam? What up, fam? So we're gonna do a joint group workout do session. What? No joint <laughs> workout session, man. No joints over here, man. Get your, get your head out the clouds. Uh, but yeah, they it's it's a great way to get that communal aspect that you would at the gym because I go to the gym, I see a lot of people, and I was like, hey. So and so, bam, 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 chatting it up. But it's cool when you go out and like I've seen people do yoga on the beach. I've seen people do group or workouts like whether I've seen birds do yoga. On the I know it's like a group of seagulls. They're doing like chatting it up. They're doing their bird yoga. Is it comparable to goat yoga? Kind of, kind of different, different species, <laughs> different, different capabilities. But fitness doesn't have to be expensive. Everybody sees these nice gyms, these nice workout clothes, whatever the case may be. People, some people like to be fashionable. But uh, either way, it's just, it's, if you wanna take care of yourself, a lot of the stuff, like as I mentioned earlier, which we preach about is, is for you. It's just about you getting the motivation to wanna do some of these things. Whether it's doing push-ups, doing sit-ups, doing ab workouts, running around outside, but think about it, it's a great way to, as I mentioned earlier, incorporate the fam. But uh, yeah, thank you guys very much. I don't know if Adam wanna throw out anything else no, for- No, like, I felt we encapsulated everything we wanted to talk about. So yeah, no, I, there's nothing that I really wanna add other than just get out there, don't make excuses, do the little exercises, you get your heart rate going, and the make it happen. Flowing. Yeah, excuses are like armpits. Everybody has them and they all stink, y'all. Stinky. Quit stinky. making them and just get after it, do it. I'll say at the very least, 30 minutes a day, four to five days a week. Give yourself a couple days off. I like to do it more than that, but teach their own. Yep. All right. All right. Uh, this is Adam with the Twin G Podcast. And Aaron with the Twin G Podcast. Boom. Enjoy. Have, have a great one. Take Love care. you. Love y'all.